Hi guys, another race winner video here. This is Todd Euler's. Oops, this is Todd Euler's Group Five Sideways or Racer Sideways car. This is a BMW M1. Uh, as it ends the race, uh, Todd uh, current has the record. Let me take a look here. I can tell you right now what the, what the number is. Todd uh, holds the record for fastest lap, um, six point zero zero three. No, this might be wrong. No, yeah, it is. 6.003 on the yellow lane. Uh, and um, the most laps belongs to Rick Jokan, 166. Not with this car. But this car is the fastest Group 5 around with 6.003, almost 5.9. So it's a BMW M1. Um, this is a livery made by Sideways. Uh, the only difference that Todd did here was paint the, 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 the wing gold. Uh, sometimes you have guys when you don't have a custom made car sometimes you have guys with the same livery so this is the way that he identifies his cars he lost his mirrors during the race uh, but that's it so this car uh, has a lot of body movement seems like it's broken but that's the way we have to race fast you see how how how, how long it is almost three or maybe f maybe maybe four millimeters on uh, each side. Let's see the weight, the total weight for this car. So this is a class that is very limited. It's almost out of the out of the box. You can do some tricks here and there. Um, let me see. So 80.9, 80.9. Uh, this is the total weight for the car. So let's take it around. Let's take the body off and uh, do a little autopsy on this thing to see what it was the tricks to 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 break the record. So right now, um, you need to race the yellow rapid flat six slotted motor. That's the motor that comes with the car. Uh, he uh, has a slot invasion guide made for slotted, which, uh, which fits the sideways cars. Uh, he has also the hard pod for this car, which is allowed that you change the pod. Normally, those cars, they come with the black pod. This is a little harder. I don't see, personally, I don't see much difference, but that was the choice that Todd made here. He has two of the SP23's weights from that, that comes from slotted. We use those on the Group C class two. So he had those two weights, which is the only ballast allowed on this class. Uh, he's using his slotting plus uh, body screws, which is, allows you this kind of a movement right here. So let's take the screws off. Let's take a look on the car. Okay, first one coming out. You can see the size of the screw. Okay, I'm going to show you the screw in the camera right now. This is one of the biggest secrets of those guys here. Those screws that allows your movement. Look at this. Probably like a three or four. Uh, you can see from here. Uh, there's only thread on the top. And all this here, all this body of the screw, this is your movement right there. It, this is a slotting plus. If you go to our website and go under parts, slotting plus, screws, you're going to find it under body screws. Uh, let's take the second one out. By the way, this is my very first Allen screwdriver. My father gave it to me probably 30 years ago. Um, I have my nickname here written by him, so I don't lose it. It was a JK, an old JK one. So I still have it. Um, okay. Let's see the car. So the body, pretty lightweight, nothing uh, nothing special about it, no sensing or anything. Uh, the body itself weighs 18.7 um, grams, which is completely normal for this class. Okay, let's take a look on the car. So we have this slotting, uh, slotted flat six motor. I think they're 20.5 uh, RPM. Um, he has a big N here. I don't know what it is. Could be a Z. I don't know. Doesn't. I don't know what it is, what it, uh, what it means. But he has uh, the red pod, which is the hard pod for this class. Um, a collar here, and and okay, very unusual. One flanged bearings here on the side. Only one flange, probably glued. Needs to be glued to this. If not, they're relying. He is relying a lot. So this is our open open flange uh, um, bearing. I don't know the brand. Could be Kofor. Could be just a, from China. 
Um, but yeah, nothing special here. One flanged bearings. This big, probably NSR 15 pinion. And you have the Slotting Plus uh, crown gear, angled crown uh, spur gear. So again, uh, Todd, if you're watching this, please put on comments your gear ratio. I'm not going to make any comment because the gear ratio is just something very specific for each track. And if you're watching this video just to set up your car, it doesn't really matter. You need to find out the best gear ratio for you. Uh, he has um, slotted magnesium wheels all around. Those are, of course, um, air system or with the shoulders with the foam insert inside. That seems to be Todd's choice for all his cars. This is, I believe, NSR's um, super grips or ultra grips. They're very low uh, compared to the wheel. He has one slotted collar here holding the whole axle together. Uh, there's no much movement on the pod. Actually, this is a little bit tighter than the other side. So it's not moving this way, just moving front and back and a little bit to the sides. And that's it. He has the slotting plus wiring. Um, I believe, let me see if the hollow, the axle is hollow here. Um, I'm going to need this guy. Let me see. No, solid axles. Probably solid axles here too. I don't want to take it off because it might be glued. Um, those are NSR 55 millimeters axles. Uh, those are one of the best axles we have. NSR, they're always straight. There's no, uh, there's no other choice. If you need solid axles, just go for NSRs. Uh, great choice. Um, again, we have the SP23s, two weights here. He's using NSR brass um, uh, screws all over the car. Uh, even here to fix the front uh, ballast. The rear ballast is, is fixed by the, the pod. The pod here and the sliding plus there, they have, you can choose the heights that you have. Uh, I think he's using the 0 0.5. We can we can take it out. Since you're here, let's take this card down. Let's take a look. Uh, because they offer you, when you buy a sideways car, they offer you uh, uh, the chance to 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 change your pod, just the, the back of the pod, so you can change the height of your car. So taking off this, I discovered something else. Check it out. Todd, you have your secrets, Todd. We're, we're revealing it all. So right now, I don't want to lose the spacers. So this is the guy that is using the slotting plus, and I can see that he's using a very short uh, set screw. Uh, you have two reasons to do that. The first one, you avoid to touch the pod or to touch the chassis, which is some, which is something that always happens on the Porsche 908s. But here, you, you have the clearance, so you don't need that. So the reason that he's using this set screw that is a little, I don't, it's not hollow, but it's very short, is because he balanced the gear and he put a little weight here. So this gear is balanced. Look at this. And the guy has the track record, so respect for that. Uh, it's not saying here, I don't want to assemble his car. Todd, if you can, just let me know which pod you use. Uh, when you get one of those cars, you have three choices, the one millimeter, the 0 0.5, and the zero width. So let me know which one you're using here so people can set up a quick car like yours. Uh, I just don't want to disassemble this whole car. So let me put this gear together. Balanced gear, Todd, come on. Okay, so the tire, as I told you, is a slotted uh magnesium wheel air system i don't i can't figure out the, the tires they look like an sr but they could be a, a slotted g25s um and he's using a group c painted inserts this class sh tells you that you need uh, the, the rules for this class you need to use wheel inserts so as he put something that is probably lightweight he, he went this way uh, let me put this gear together let me put this guy together here. All right. Um, Todd, you fix this later. Uh, front wheels are probably slotted too. Group C's, front tires. Uh, there's no brands on it, but front tires, they're probably slotted. Uh, solid X in front, little spacers here. Uh, there's slot invasion guide with some ballast kind of weight spacer here. It's a spacer that takes the whole guide, so it makes a little weight 
for the guide here you have a lot of distance here almost 0.3 millimeters distance here and making if you press the gear the the, the guide down the rear comes up uh, it's it's kind of weird because that's the third car that I got from Todd and uh, they always have different gear uh, guide setups uh, the front wheels are touching and in the back he's probably by the limit of 0 0.8 a little bit higher, I would say 0 0.9, almost one millimeter, the whole back of the car. Uh, again, the pod is moving just a little bit sideways on this time. This this side seems to be a little tight, tighter. Could could have changed because of the race, uh, but there is movement. There is horizontal movement, not vertical movement here. Great car, Todd. Congratulations, congratulations on the record. Uh, those cars are not that easy to set up. They seem they, they 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 most of them they rattle a lot. There's a lot of noise, but this one seems to run smooth, and it's a very good car. Congratulations, Todd, for the track record and the win.